What are you doing? Burping. Ew. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Come here. What? Is you cleaning your bed today? Well, I'm trying to. Look. <laughs> it's a silly unicorn. You like unicorns? <laughs> yeah. Get this room cleaned up. Gotta get, gotta get all that hung up today, maybe. Let's see. Ah, uh, me and the girls are going to put the eggs in the incubator. So we'll show you guys that in a minute. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Do them dishes, woman. We go on the woods, he's pocket full of fuzzies. Acid, acid, we all fall down. Wow, good job. I'm going, I'm going outside. I'm going out there with you. <laughs> It's too cold and muddy. It's too cold and muddy. You can do it tomorrow. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a great day today. Before I go feed little Rambo, I have to show you something my wife got into earlier. Um, it's crazy. Let me, let me bring come over here and I'll show you. And uh, she got us into a little mess. Gabby. So you might be wondering. Wow, there's corn all over the ground. She had backed the van up from over here to leave and she got us stuck. But she got the van stuck today and it took us, it was like, my father-in-law came over and helped me. It was like till 1230 trying to get this thing unstuck. Her and the girls were actually headed to church this morning. I had to work late. Um, so I was still in bed whenever they were leaving, but I woke up to this. But thankfully my father-in-law came over and helped me get out. You know, we took care of that. It was it was bad. We didn't know if we was gonna get it unstuck or not. It's just a muddy mess out here right now because we've been getting rain the last couple days. Um, actually, last night and this morning, and uh, it's just it's just messy out here. We live on some old farmland, so it holds water like crazy everywhere. Um, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to feed little Rambo. I'm gonna show you guys doing that. Then I'm gonna talk to you all about how he is extremely lucky. Uh, he about he could about froze to death there today. And uh, let me, I'll show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Guys, I gotta tell you about what's going on. Well, I got this uh, heat lamp in my hand. Um, the other night when we had the extremely cold weather, um, we came out here, fed the uh, fed Rambo. We usually right before we go to bed, anywhere from 10 to 11, 11, 30, I'll come here and feed him one last time. Well, everything was good. The heat lamp's on, you can see the heat lamp's working behind me right now. Uh, he's got a little bed back here where he just sleeps all the time. Well, anyways, came out here that, that night, everything was good. Um, it got really cold out here. That next morning I came out here to feed him and the heat lamp, the bulb was out. This is a brand new bulb um, and it was out and my heart just dropped. I was, I could not believe it because it was like, I don't know, like 10 degrees outside or something crazy like that. And I didn't hear him, I didn't hear him. He usually, meh, meh, like usually that's all he does because he's hungry. You can hear the sheep back there. Uh, but he's still, I just fed him 16 ounces and he's still wanting to drink. I might have to bring some more out here for him. But uh, I did not hear him making a noise. And I was like, oh my gosh, he ain't, he ain't alive. I was like, this, this is horrible. He is, he is still hungry. Anyway, so I checked all, I checked all the wiring. I checked the, uh, the fuse. Uh, all that seemed to, be, seemed to be good. So I finally came in here to see how, if he was alive or not. I didn't even want to come in here because I was just scared to death he wasn't going to be alive. Well, I came in and he was cuddled up underneath the heat lamp um, that wasn't on. I um, had his little nest there and uh, he, he was just fine. I was like, oh, thank God. He is going crazy. Look at him. Look at him. Look. What are you doing? <laughs> he is wanting more. You little guy eating a bunch. I'll go make you some more, okay? We'll go make you some more. But 
but thankfully he was okay. I changed the bulb out. Like I said, this was a brand new bulb and it quit working um, in the middle of the night, somewhere between 11, 11, 30 and six in the morning. Um, I'm guessing it probably more towards um, earlier in the morning because he wasn't shivering, he wasn't acting cold or nothing. So it might, it might have just went out, but man, we dodged a bullet big time. And something like that, I mean, you kind of just out of your control. How do you know a, a bulb's gonna go out in the middle of the night like that? You don't until you come in here and check on them. But, but thankfully he, he was just fine. I got the bulb change out. Um, got the, the infrared looking one back here and it had, I haven't had any problems since. So, so we're on the alert checking this like all the time. Uh, it, that's just crazy. It would go out on that day. Like the, the coldest day of the year for him and it goes out. I'll tell you what, you guys probably feel me on this. Your heart just sinks and drops uh, when something like that happens because you don't have a clue if you're going to come out and find your little, your little baby ram uh, froze to death or not. It's crazy. Um, so today what we're going to do is it's probably in the, uh, it's in the mid-40s right now. I'm going to leave this gate open for him, open up this other gate. And I'm just going to let him run around uh, probably for a couple hours with the other sheep. And uh, probably here shortly within a week or so, I might just leave this gate open for him all times. And that way he can just, uh, if it does get cold like that again and something goes on, he can go cuddle up with the other sheep because they're getting to know him pretty good. And none of them are giving him any, any troubles like buttoning him away and stuff like that. So I think they accept him as part of the flock. Um, but I'm still just, I'm, he just, he's just still little. I'm still kind of weary about letting him go out there full time. So I'll probably give it another week or so. But today, we're going to let him run around for about a couple of hours or so and just let him see how he does and keep an eye on him. So I'm going to let him run. I'm going to go get some more feed, feed him again. And uh, we'll go back in the house. I'll get the incubator that I got from Kevin. Uh, and put, we'll let the girls put the eggs in it. Hey, if you guys aren't in the, if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video um, of the giveaway I'm doing, I'm doing a $50 gift card giveaway and a free t shirt. Um, and I'll put a link up right there. You can go check it out. Also, a pretty cool story that uh, Kevin tells about his um, guardian, uh, Pyrenees uh, uh, guard. Uh, livestock guard dog saving a little baby deer's life and uh, we got some pictures of that stuff on the other video um, so go check out that video i put up there get in the contest uh, enter to win this 50 dollars and free t-shirt so with that being said i'm gonna let a little rambo out and we're gonna go in the house do a little bit of vlogging showing the girls putting eggs on the incubator come with me hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video i think he wants i think he wants me maybe they could be friends maybe you guys are gonna be friends you guys gonna be friends with the Rambo. All right, Rambo. Good luck, buddy. Show them who the boss is. He is he's growing. He's got a lot bigger. Still not near as big as his sister, but he's he's getting a lot bigger. Rambo, you're on your own for a little bit. Make friends, Rambo. Make friends. I'll bring you some more. I'll bring you some more, I promise. We'll be back out here in a minute. Lily, you better stay out of there. You better stay out of there. Gabby, you tell her she needs to stay out of there. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's cool. I need to show them. All right, show them. Her old cell phone. <laughs> it's actually her mom's from like 15 years ago. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water. They gave it to Hayden, and then Hayden gave it to me. Oh, okay. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here first, and then I'm going to let the girls come in here and uh, put the eggs in here. So Kevin has this, he has this little thing right here. It shows the temperature on the inside and the humidity. Um, the one I got actually has the screen and stuff on, on the screen right there. It shows it to you, but it's probably good. It'd probably be good for me to get one of those to put in there just to make sure the temperature is reading the same on both of them, but I don't have one yet. Okay, Hayden, you're in charge of passing out the eggs. You guys got to put the pointy side down. Hayden, you have to show them how to put the pointy side down. I don't have. Okay, too. don't drop them. Yep, go easy. There you go. Good little baby. You guys like hatching out little hatchlings? Yes, the hey, little you. quails. Yeah. They're gonna be little baby quails? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to eat some little baby quail steak? No! What? We're not eating them Oh, yet. okay, not yet. Wait till they get bigger, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> That's the last one in that little hole. Probably nine or eight. I think there's like 30 of them, 38 of them. Oh, Can't break it, did it? Did it? Oh no, Hayden broke one, just set it to the side. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it did. I could see the yolk on it. Oh, poor little quail. Oh. It's okay, it's just a yolk. What is all this? Just old stuff from when he hatched out. That's fine. Don't eat a baby. Be careful, that's why you get in a hurry. That's how you break them. How you do this? Be easy with those. Hi, baby quails. <laughs> no problem. There's another hatch surprise. That's the biggest one ever. Look, guys. That's Easy. the biggest one. Oh, that is a big one. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be a big thing. <laughs> it's going to be a big what? I'm going to put that there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, while they finish putting these in here with the pointy side down, I'm going to walk in here and take a look at um, the incubator we already got and see if i got a place to put this one, too. Okay. You hum We're at 99.9. .9, humidity right above 60. And uh, it's turning just fine. Um, one way you could tell it turned the other way. They were turning that way last time. Now they're turning this way. It turns like three times so often, whatever. So maybe I could put the other one right there. That'd be perfect. So we'll see. Let's see how many incubators of chickens and, and quail I can get in here before Brandy says, that's enough incubators. <laughs> what are you doing, Hadley? What are you doing, Hadley? What are you doing? They're not hatching yet. It's going to be a few. Probably another 10 days or so. There's no more. Okay, you got them all? I need Thirty-eight. Yeah. See, one, two, three, four. One, two. Wow, there is thirty-eight, huh? Four, five, six, five, three, six, three, seven. And thirty-eight, that broken one. Good job. Yeah. So it's showing it's 62 degrees in there with 60% humidity, but I'll come back out here later, give it a, you know an hour or so. A lot of people warm these up beforehand, but it's honestly it's not a big deal because the eggs are room temperature. This is whatever, you know, it's fine. So this this warm up, um, it should be set on um, actually 100 like this other one I got. You can see the difference. Um, that one doesn't have a screen, and this one does have the screen and controls to set everything. But other than that, it's all the same. So. I'll come back in a little bit and check on it and see what the temperature is. Gabby, what are you doing? You got a new vest coming in. Yes, you do. You deserve a new one, don't you? Don't you? Hey, you women, get that stuff folded and put up if you would. Thank you. And uh, I'll take a sandwich here in a little bit. Thank you. Hayden. <laughs> Brandy, uh, make my sandwich have ham and cheese, please. Uh -huh. We're right on top of that. Make me a sandwich. Girl, this is what I like to see. I like to see it. My wife, grown woman, teaching these little girls how to do laundry. That's a good example right there. <laughs> oh, really, Hadley? Really? Oh, I'm gonna get beat up for that later. They're gonna jump me. Hey, I'm, it's been about 30 minutes. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I gotta end this vlog because I gotta go to the store. Uh, so let's check the temperature on here. It probably hasn't went up a whole lot, but we'll take a look at it. Okay, it's climbing at 72 now, 39 uh, uh, humidity. So it's, it's going up good and I'll keep an eye on it. So that's really all I can do is just keep an eye on it. Uh, hopefully the It'll work. Kevin's hatched a bunch of eggs out of there, so it's going to be fine. I'll keep, you, I'll keep you guys updated on the baby quail. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for leaving the thumbs up. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button like always. And if you're not subscribed, like I keep saying, I don't know why you're not yet, right over there, click that little subscri subscription button and click that little bell if you get a chance. Hayden? Go check out my YouTube channel, Hayden Riley. Hayden Riley. And go check out Hayden Riley. i got to post some jiu-jitsu tournament stuff on there, uh, maybe here in a little bit. So. Go check her out, Hayden Riley on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you on the next video.